Well, you don't have to drive all the way to New York for a good bagel. Instead, just head over to the North Hills and a local business that breathes family and, of course, bread. The owner of Three Brothers Bagels, Colin Whitten, is here with us in the kitchen. Speaking of breathing, the moment I walked into the kitchen, I could smell this Mm, delicious the perfume smell of, of these. pastrami. Oh my gosh, yeah. this is fantastic. So first of all, you lived in New York City for quite a long time, right? So that inspired this bagel making here in Pittsburgh? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we lived there for 12 years and um, you know, it's hard to find a bad bagel in New York. This is true. This is very true. They yeah. know their carbs, don't they? Yeah, and there's a, uh, it's easier to find a good bagel here in Pittsburgh, but we just wanted to help out a little bit and move some more things to the North Hills. So we live in Gibsonia, so mm -hmm. we just wanted to see uh, another family business that was doing some good food up there in the North Hills. Talk about why family, bagels, why was that the combination for you guys? Um, so the thing about family is uh, three brothers are named after my three sons. A lot of people think they, they see me and they go, where's the other two brothers? Exactly, yeah, that, but that's yeah. what I would assume. Yeah, so I have three boys, so named after them. And uh, you know, I've worked in restaurants for 20 plus years. Uh, here in Pittsburgh, I worked for the Richard Deschance Group for 10 years or so, a mm -hmm. uh, number of restaurants. But, uh, you know, during COVID, things shut down. And then, like so many people, you have time to think about what do you want to do, um, you know, to kind of assess, like, what do you want to do with your life? And family was super important. Yeah, of course. So we and just thought, you know. The rest of us, we thought about food. And I'm thinking about food right now, too, because this smells amazing. So what are you going to make for us? What so are you going to show us? I've got all my assortments here. Uh, I brought some babka, which you, you can try some later or now or whatever. And then I, I was going to do two sandwiches. So I have uh, my pan ready here for some uh, pastrami egg sandwiches. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, by far one of our uh, biggest sellers. Uh, and then, so I'm going to start that egg, and then I'm also going to do some uh, lox. Oh, okay. Yeah, so at the shop, we make a lot of the things in-house. So besides the bagels, we do that every day fresh. Um, but our pastrami, we smoke in-house. We have our salmon here, which I smoked in-house. Um, babka, we make in-house. So just a lot of, a lot of things. We try to make as many things as possible. Um, what time do you start the process in the morning? So I'm up at, I'm at the shop at least by like 4 a.m. Okay. So I'm up at 3 a.m. So I, I have a, those hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's just to get everything done to be open by 7. And so I, I have a new superpower now. I can drink coffee whenever I want and you go just to sleep, have it no problem. You have hooked up Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. No I know problem. what that's like. Okay, so what'd you just cut up here? So this is the pastrami. This is uh, what we smoked there in house. Oh um, my gosh. Yeah, so just uh, pretty straightforward, but um, like I said, one of our biggest sellers. It smells so good. It looks good on TV, but I'm telling you, it smells even better if you're here in person. Okay, so what else are you doing? So you're doing um, while too. that's cooking, just because I know we have short time here, so I have some of the locks here that we did. So I'm just going to slice some of this really thin. What's your most unique item that you serve? Um, I, I would say right now the chocolate babka, just because not too many people are doing that. I know some places do it seasonally, but um, it's just one of those things. We try different things. You know, we make cookies, muffins, um, things like that. But babka has just really uh, struck a note with people. And um, so, for example, like Thanksgiving, we're doing pre-orders for that. Um, today we did pre-orders. And I'm always trying to keep some in-house for people that want it. So... Your three sons that you named it after, how old are they? I have a 12-year-old, I have a 9-year-old, and uh, my youngest is almost three. Okay, so are they into the bagels? What's their review whenever they try something that you make? They definitely like eating bagels. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they're happy to uh, always sample anything that I bring home. Yeah? Um, is there anything that you've made that they've been like, Dad, this is not it. You can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, you know, they're either really nice or they just, they like everything that I do. Because I've never okay, heard them okay. complain about anything uh, that I make at the bagel shop. So What would happen if they were picky eaters? I imagine that that would be very difficult in your home. Um, well, you know, the youngest, you know, he, right now, he likes French fries. Uh, he likes mac and cheese. And that's a small Same. list. I mean, I get that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like those things too. So that's fine. And what is this spread? Because that so, looks bomb too. Yeah, so we make a uh, number of cream cheeses in house, and this is our uh, scallion cream cheese, um, one scallion of the more popular ones. Cream cheese. Yeah, so tomatoes, a little bit of the locks, get some uh, red onion on there, 
And then capers, you gotta have the capers on there. And then I like to finish with a little bit of herbs. So I just do a little dill and parsley just to kind of freshen it up. Just so we get an opportunity to see what's happening down here, because we are winding down oh, on sure. our time. What's, what's happening? I hear Let's things sizzling. Oh, oh, it's ready. Everything so this is, is basically just better. putting a little bit of heat on that pastrami and then the um, cheese. And I'll just cut this here so you can sample it. The full product. Yeah. These buttons are already tied. I don't want to put more stress on them. So there's this. <laughs> Thank you very Feel free much. To enjoy that. Oh my gosh. Absolutely, I will. And then I'll just, this one's pretty straightforward. It's just a little bit of pastrami, a little bit of egg. There. Like I said, it looks good. It smells fantastic. Look at that mayo. A little bit of, of chili mayo. Now that's optional, but it's something if I'm making a sandwich, that's how I like to chili do it. Chili mayo, game over. Yeah. Anything with mayo. I'm going to take a bite after I toss to this break. Three Brothers Bagels is located in Mount Royal Shopping Center along Glenshaw, Pennsylvania. It is open Tuesday through Saturday. The hours vary. You can always order online ahead of time. We'll have a link for you to do that on our website, kdk.com slash talk Pittsburgh. And while we are talking food, it's a good time to remind you about the KDK TV Turkey Fund. There is still time to donate to help our neighbors in need have a good meal this Thanksgiving. Of course, there are plenty of ways to do so. You can see that right there on your screen. And to see that information again, just head to our website, kdk.com slash turkey fund. We're going to be right back and I'm going to start eating.